I know, buddy. I know. It's cold in here. <sighs> should close that window before snooping around. Freya hasn't been checking on you? Right. Too busy hunting us down. Come on. Let's get you warmed up. Should be able to make a fire from all this mess. Wow, it's beautiful. Never seen anything like this around here before. From her home in Vanaheim? She must have really missed it. I can't believe she never came back to check on her house. To check on you. That's not an excuse. He's here for me. I'll be okay. I think. Okay. I'm ready. Take me to him. Should have learned to swim before Midgard froze over. Hello? I'm here. Odin? Bert, is this Asgard? Hey, wait up! The wall! This is Asgard! Hold on! I'm coming! Oh, you don't seem friendly.
Sign of Fimble Winter. I better keep heading towards the wall. You could have led me around those. I've ever done, but if that's what it takes to change father's face. Hey, where? Where'd you go? Hold on, I'm coming. You gotta find a way through. What am I gonna say to Odin? Uh, hi. I came to be your apprentice, I guess. But it doesn't mean I like. Serve you now, not in a foretold by property. <laughs> from the other side of that wall. Wait, how do I get past the wall? I never came up with a mere story about Hrimthur. The stonemason's son built a flaw into it. He only told Frey about it, and I didn't think to ask. Hold on, how was Frey at the house? Did she move in with us? You know what? Focus, Loki. Father would just burn this away with his blades. But what can I do? <laughs> there we go.
Wait, that sounds like people. You need help? You, uh, you look a little lost. Oh, uh, I'm just getting my bangs. Well, there's nothing to see this way except the big wall. Is there a gate to go through? Nope. Not unless you're an Aesir god, but I guess you'd know that if you were an Aesir god. Me? No. I'm from Midgard. What? No shit. Me too. I'm skilled here. Lucky. Hang on. Are you all from Midgard? Yep. The, uh, Allfather saved us from the desolation, gave us a safe place to settle, but we don't go in there. Can't get into the city unless you know magic. You, you don't know magic, do you? A little bit, yeah. What? No shit. Do you, you walk through walls? Not yet. Ah. Couldn't I just climb over it? <laughs> that? Without any gear? Uh, no. Aren't you afraid of dying? Well, yeah. I mean, look at that. But, Odin awaits. Wait, you know the Allfather? I'm sort of his apprentice. No shit! What is he teaching you? I'm not sure. Well, how many other students? I don't know. How long you stay? You don't know. Okay. I'm gonna go climb that wall now. Well, this I gotta see. Need help? I appreciate it, but I gotta go alone. Oh, I wasn't gonna climb with you. I may owe Odin my life, but I don't owe him my death. Not that I think you're gonna fall. Forget I said anything. Was that Hugin? Is Hugin your guide? Who? So, how are you gonna do it? One step at a time, I guess. But, with hands. Well, Loki, you seem like a good guy. I really hope I am not about to watch you die. Thanks. Me too. Uh, you know not to look down, right? I like looking down. Shows me how much progress I've made. Wow, yeah, that's great. Now you say? I mean, a little ironic, last words, but... What was that? Nothing, nothing. Hey, you're doing great. Thanks, Gilder. Hope you're right. <clears throat> okay, I can do this. This is fine. Just keep climbing. And now where? Hey, Hoogan. Don't suppose you'd like to pass the time by telling a story, would ya? Yeah, that's what I thought you'd say. Why? Up here? Ah! <laughs> 
Yeah, I'm coming. Let's get that chain down. I wonder why I can't hear your thoughts. Sure seemed like Odin could. That was you in our cabin, right? You and your brother, I guess? Taking that for a yes. Breathe, and yes! I bet I'm past the worst of it now. Or not. Uh, want to just let me pass through? No? Have it your way. Jump! <laughs> Get it. Whoa. Okay. These are connected. Yeah, that makes sense. I think. Gotta do both sides though. My work. Here we go. Made it. Ah! Woke up more wind. Jump up! Get to fly. I'm doing what I can. <sighs> huh. Don't see any more shortcuts. Just gotta climb a little further. Maybe a lot further. But I've come this far. Hey, Hugin, how about I tell you a story? Once there was a giant named Loki who thought it'd be a good idea to accept Odin's invitation to Asgard. So, Odin tested Loki, expecting him to climb by himself all the way up Reemther's wall. So, what did Loki ah! So, what did Loki do? He kept Climbing! He 
just kept climbing. His arms hurt. His fingers went numb. It got hard to breathe. But Loki kept climbing. One foothold at a time. All the way to the top. Nowhere to go but up. Okay, okay. Keep going. Come on. Can't stop now. <sighs> ah! Come on. Okay. I can do this. I can do this. Almost there. Hello. Uh, hi. So, what part of the enormous wall made you think? Oh. Visitors must be welcome. I was sent for, actually. By Odin? The Allfather sent for you. Huh? Great. Mm. Then why are you out there? And not in here? Why don't we ask him together? Hmm. Are you finished? Now, what could Odin, Allfather, King of the Aesir, possibly want with the likes of you? That's between me and Odin. You don't even know, do you? <laughs> Think you could pull me up, or... No, I don't think I will. I think maybe I'll drop you. No, 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 no. Yes, I'm Stop. going to drop you. Goodbye. Stop. Wait, wait, wait. Look how mad the Allfather's gonna be when, when he finds out you killed his guest. Loki of the Jotnar. <laughs> the Jotnar. Enemy of my people. I am not your enemy. I will be the judge of them. This way, Loki of the Jotnar. Wait, is that Gallarhorn? Are you Heimdall? Obviously. Now feel free to drink in the splendor of Asgard. This is a rare sight for outsiders, especially giants. Yes. Why not steal anything that is not nailed down? That is sure to impress your hosts. <sighs> Just ask your questions already. How do you know I had questions? It is my job. Next question. What is your job? I protect the realm I love from trouble. And you think I'm trouble? You just met me. And I can already see you are eager to prove yourself. Way too eager. Probably due to an overshadowing father figure you can never live up to. Good guess. I would also guess that you are... disrespectful. Entitled and... impulsive. You don't know me at all. I help people. Oh! You are here to help people. Hmm. No. No. You are here to help yourself. 
to manipulate and lie to whoever you have to to get what you want. I know you're young, your voice probably dropped while you were climbing the wall, but <laughs> what a twisted little soul you have. <laughs> you are chaos in a spiffy archer suit. I watch your mouth move and I see cities burning. Nothing good is going to come from you being in Asgard. That said, if you are here to aid the Allfather and have no treacherous intent, I guess that makes us allies. Ghoultopper. Who loves me the most? Who loves me the most? Wow, that's almost as impressive as Balder taming a dragon. Balder had the luxury of not caring how badly he got burned. I outthink them. Dominate them fair and square. Whoa, are these all Aesir gods? What? You think all Aesir are gods? But Skilder told me that oh, only. Well, if Skilder told you. Clearly, whoever that is must be the authority on Aesir gods, not the Aesir god you are currently talking to. You literally know nothing of our culture, do you? I know lots of things. I know a giant built that wall. A giant built the wall that keeps out the giants. Primther, son of Thamur. I know the whole story. Really? I truly cannot wait for you to regale me with the revisionist tales of Asgard's architectural history. Is that Odin's palace? Palace. Do you think the All-Father needs to puff himself up like some mortal chieftain? I guess not. That is the Great Lodge, which the All-Father built with his own hands. I'm sorry if that is a letdown for you. Real power, you see, does not need to flaunt. It emerges when the time is right. Don't you agree? Ha! Hey! Whoa! Ah! Hey, Helmets! I brought you a practice jump. I thought we were going to own it! You see, the thing is, you do have treacherous intent. So I am not letting you anywhere near the altar. <laughs> I am sure about that. Yes, I'm feeling very sure, matter of fact. Oh no! Arrows! How fearsome! Ha! That is your big special move? Hilarious! Down, boy! You're not going to stop me from seeing Odin! You'll be seeing him from your grave. What? That doesn't even make sense! Ah! ah good boy! That is what he deserves! Is that it? Is this all you have to show me, Odin? Oh! That one felt special! Hope that was not the last trick you have! Wow. I do have to say, Loki, I am profoundly unimpressed. You should probably stay down. Great. Like it or not, he's 
saw father's guest. <laughs> I thought I smelled something. Take one more step, you're not gonna like how this ends. Really? And how do you intend to stop me? Look into my eyes. You tell me. You are a sick man. Loki! You made it! I am so honored. I, I see you've met Heimdall. He reads minds for me. The boy is false, our father. This young man, who is my guest, is covered in mud. Care to explain? He means to betray you. <gasps> is that true, Loki? You a little trickster? Uh, I'm just messing around. Of course he means to betray me, huh? Heimdall, why else would he come? I've given him no reason to trust me. Not yet. But he's got some very big questions. And I have so many answers to give. What are you up to? Dismissed. Go. Gladly. And you, clean yourself up. Oh, oh, mother. Oh, mother. Heimdall, will you just relax? Were you intending on killing me first thing? See? What, that's not good enough for you? Get out of here. <laughs> He's a lot, I know. Very perceptive, but sometimes he just forgets to think. You know? Hey, I got some places to go. So how'd your father take the news that you decided to accept my invitation? I don't think we should talk about my father. That well, huh. <laughs> Can't blame him. Between my ex-wife and my disgruntled former employee, he's not exactly getting an unbiased view. But you, you're curious, open-minded. That's important. Reest, meest, carry on. Pretend I'm not here. If I'm being honest with you, Loki, you're lucky my offer still stands after you went and sprung tear. But I suppose spending time with him is punishment enough, isn't it? <laughs> At least Mimir never lost his Medic! sense of humor. Medic. But look, it, that's all behind us now. I like to keep looking forward. Hey, hey, hey! I want them trained, not decapitated. Just keep it below the neck, all right? Is that really what you do when I'm not here? All father. Queen Gnaw. The Einherjar are ready for your blessings. That's why I'm here, isn't it? Hmm. Huh. Yes, there's a new Valkyrie queen. Great soldiers, these Ain Harry are. But they tend to come out of Valhalla a little foggy. I do what I can for them, help them remember who they were in life. That's important, don't you think? A sense of identity gives things meaning. Moon Thinafen Rothgar. Moon Thinafen Form. Moon Thinafen. Yana. Okay, next up. Ah, books. Good. Those are for him. I understand you're an avid reader. These are just a few things. For my personal collection. Uh, thanks. Jürgen, those better not be mushrooms I smell. Listen, I appreciate your offer, but I'm really not sure what you're expecting from me. Right now, you're just visiting, Loki. One step at a time. Steady there, Carl. But with all respect, you need to know. I came to study, not to serve. Another servant is the last thing I need. I need someone with drive, with curiosity. Someone will take initiative. That looks good. Is that braised? But why me? Is it because I'm half-giant? Big deal. 
Just Thor. Erlen, try to stay awake for me. Okay, but... Look, don't overthink it. I have a project I think you'll be interested in. A major learning opportunity for both of us. What about my family? My friends? I need to know nobody's gonna get hurt. Why would I hurt anybody? The truce is all I've been asking for from the start, if you recall. Look, you're here now. Stop worrying. It's all gonna be fine. Almost to your room. My room? Yep, just over here. Feel free to come and go. Take what you need, poke around as you please. You're not my prisoner. And more importantly, I am not your father. All father, there's a situation that needs your attention. Sif, you missed welcoming our new house guest. Say hello to Loki. This is him? Here. In our home. How nice. My diplomat. Everything all right in New Midgard? The refugees are fine. The situation is with the dwarves. You know who is back. Yeah, it's always something. Put those books down. We got another stop to make. Uh, sure. Yeah. All right. I'm here. Where is he? He? Oh, he, uh, just over there. Oh, father. Sir? <gasps> uh. Chief? It's been too long. What's the issue now? No issue at all if you're trying to build volatile death traps. I approve these designs personally, and not all that recently, I might add. Did you just wake up with the urge to be a pain in my ass? Yeah. Who's the cut? You training puck pockets? You know what, Derlin? You reek of cheap mead, and that is by far your most endearing characteristic. Now listen up. It's me, your entire economy, speaking. I want you to know that I have confidence in you. Confidence you can deliver me these machines as promised, on time, on budget, and of course, safely. The dwarves have never let me down, and they're not about to start now. Right? Good. Okay, son, I'm gonna let you catch your breath. When you're ready to get to work and start getting those answers, meet me in my study down the hall. Oh, and help yourself to a change of clothes. Guess I could try this on. Has less mud on it anyway. Nice! Whoa, I can use this. Hmm, huh. nicely equipped. What needs work? Whoa! Loki, right? Gotta say, the irony of this isn't lost on me. This was his room, you know? His? My brother's. Your brother? Modi? Ah, oh, your brother. Really? 
I had no idea. Uh-huh. And now it's yours. Enjoy. Fruit throws, Doctor. Relax. You've got some pretty small shoes to fill. We're better off without him, Loki. Trust me. Walk with me. Uh, don't forget your sword. Uh, someone will clean that up. So, uh, what kind of sword is that? It's new. One of a kind. My father gave it to me for Valkyrie training. You're in Valkyrie training? Got time to talk about it? I was just heading to the Great Hall. But if you need to go to work, grandfather's study is just down those stairs. Catch you later. Yes, I, I understand. Yes. Do you see me nodding and saying, yes, I understand? I. Yes. Yes, all right. Mm -hmm. ah. You see, the, this is you not letting me talk. No, Hugan, I, I don't need my ears clean. I need you to stop croaking and, and, and accept the answer you know I'm about to give. I was just looking at this. That old thing. I've had that since, huh, who can remember? <laughs> you, you have a name? Ingrid. Really? Sure, why not? Take it, if you like it that much. For real? Consider it a perk of the job. Thank you. I mean, really. And they say I'm the bad guy. Come on, let's walk. Loki, walk with me, please. Everyone's got me all wrong. You think war drives me or power, wealth? Nah, never have. You know what drives me? What I really want? I want answers. Same as you. See, mortals have it easy. When they push up against life's big questions, they can look to us. They give them meaning, divine comfort. <laughs> we both know that's a sham. But when we have questions, why are we here to give meaning to mortals while living without it ourselves? No, we're more than that. And I found something that proves it. What is it? It's what drives me. You feel it, don't you? Feels like knowledge, truth. All truth, all the answers. We could find out why we're here, learn how to change our fates, stop Ragnarok for good, maybe? Save the people we love. How? I was a young god when I found it. Spent lifetimes studying it, following every clue down every dead end, looking for and finally unearthing this. That. It shares the same mystical energy. It opened a crack. 
Can we just look inside? I wouldn't recommend that. What's the broken mask for? Recognize any writing on it? These aren't from the Nine Realms. Smile there. Obsidioni Spitha. From smoldered earth and obsidian spark and a field of battles never fought. Are you certain? Because if that's a clue, I know what it means. And what's that? Keep working with me and find out. You don't have to kill anyone. You don't have to betray your father or yourself. Come on, I know you felt what I felt. The answers are in there. Let's get them. I mean, you translated this language like it was nothing. If I do help you, what's next? Thor, get down here. All father. Don't do that. What's next is chasing this down. Take this. And this stealthy side of beef. And see where it takes you. I don't promise anything. Nonsense. Happy hunting. And you, go easy on him, you hear me? Behind. The rest of the mask is here. To where all father dropped us. What do you think? Take that and do your damn job. So, where are we going? What the fuck am I supposed to know? All father thinks that you know what you're doing. So do it. Weird. Well, it seems like we go through this rock. We're gonna get that. <laughs> With those arms. Hey, kid, where's the mask pointing us? Up there. It looks like there might be a ledge we could reach. If we... Too slow. Hey! <laughs> you can't just grab people like that. No, oh, what else are they gonna throw you? <laughs> the day's young. <laughs> These things up there are hitting us with fire. You're the archer, use your damn arrows. You know, I took my blood payment from your father for what happened to my sons. But I haven't taken it from you. Yet. What do you mean? Later. Don't want to keep the All-Father waiting. Speaking of which, mask. Right. We need to head through those rocks. Hey, can you...
Yeah, that. Just imagine what it can do to bone. You want to talk about blood payment? What about the giants you killed? They were my family. Thamor, Ronan, they were your people too. The giants were blight on the Nine Realms, and I reveled in every single one of their deaths. Let's just change the subject. You know, uh, last time Father and I were here, we beat every one of Surtur's trials. Think you could... Don't play me. Modi had some problems, but he was my son. And the only reason you aren't mush right now is because of that broken piece of wood. Look! Clearly neither of us can do this mission alone. And I want to impress the Allfather just as much as you do. You don't have to like me, but we're gonna have to trust each other. Just a little bit. Trust. Thing to go. Hey, kid, where's the mask pointing us? The mask is, uh, pulling this way. We'll have to find some way down. Sure thing. I wasn't playing you, by the way. The trials are fun. Don't you ever have fun? You're so different from your daughter. She seemed... Hey, come look at this. Somehow I don't think the mask was telling us to go. Whenever you're ready. Thor, what the... Surtur Shrine. You didn't die over there, did you? <sighs> no, but I was thinking... Well, that's your problem. Trials are just past that cliff. Might be something you do to do to your First, we deal with them. Cut them off, Thor. Just check them out. What have you got to lose? Fine. That's right. Just try it. You getting tired? Not in the slightest. <laughs> An ogre! Worry? Not in this life. Stop them! Another ogre? Hey, neat trick. <laughs> Out of them! 
waited hundreds of winters. He can wait a little more. It's fun. Fine. Stay right here. Yes, sir. That should keep him busy for a while. Hopefully. Come on. Give me a challenge. Okay, that's where the mask wants us to go. But first, let's head to the shrine. We'll find the other piece when Thor gets back. Hey, Ingrid. Do you trust the ace here? I mean, I know I can't trust them. I just need them to trust me. But that's only gonna happen if they think I trust them. Yeah. My father and I visited this place the last time we were in Muspahan. Feels like forever ago. Here's the shrine. Ah, can't you guys go fight Thor or something? Boda? <laughs> you know, for someone who was trained as a warrior, you are tragically easy to startle. I... I, I didn't. What are you doing here? A girl can't visit a shrine of her own volition? You're here for Sorter's marble. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> You're out looking for more giant marbles? You know what this looks like, right? Like the life story of one of our people? And also maybe a storage closet. No. This looks an awful lot like Defying Destiny. <laughs> the question is, what are you doing here? Rewriting my story. Odin gave that to you? It's not. Well, he did, but it's not. I'm not working with him. I would never tell him anything about Ironwood if that's what you're worried about. And I'm definitely not serving him. Prophecy's words, not mine. 
I've got a marble to find. You're welcome to help if you want. Fine. Are you sure you're up for breaking the rules like this? There aren't any prophecies of you collecting any marbles. Our endings haven't been written, right? Come on. Shame. <laughs> there a sentient sword huh another marble Surters. no soul in it though so he's still out there somewhere a while back you talked about how the Giants left you ever think about them all the time they're far from here far from Odin and Thor but I wonder what lands they've gone to what seas they've crossed why I want to find them. I'm going to save my father, and then I'll find them. It's starting. Who is that? Not Surtur, that's for sure. Look at all that frost. Sinmara. Hmm. Don't think I've heard of her before. And here comes Surtur. Wow. This must have been some fight. Yeah, until it... wasn't? They just stopped? Oh, no, 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 look. It's because they fought together. Looks like they even became friends. Ah, uh, good friends. Are they? Yeah, I think they are. Oh, well that's... good for them. But it looks like their... um... love caused them to combine into some kind of huge creature. Ragnarok. And then... Ragnarok destroys Asgard. Right. I saw that in Groa's Shrine. Well, that was... something. Oh, hey, remember the snake we put that soul in? Can't really forget that. I saw it. It's getting... bigger. Like, faster than normal bigger. Yeah, I had a feeling that would happen. Huh. I'm gonna hang back here. Don't want your, uh, friend to see a giant he missed. Of course. Just... Be careful. Please. You too, Loki. Hey, Ingrid. I think Thor died from... You thought you could defeat the god of thunder? Oh. I admit, that was fun. There were mountains of corpses by the time I finished. Cut down like things. Lava ran red for their part. Through, through. Great! You wanna help down here? Wouldn't think you'd need my help if you beat all those trials. Or did you just watch your father do it? Hey, what's taking so long? You wouldn't believe the scores of these things I just killed. It was glorious. I think you're right. Brood would. She'd be faring better than you, at least. Ha! <laughs> 
done that at any time. You seem to be handling yourself well enough. I was trusting you. So, where to? Looks like we need to head through that gate. Oh, yeah? I had to do something while you were off fighting. Well, check again anyways. Fine. Through the gate, like I said. Thor? Real god stuff. You are a god. You're damn right. And so am I. It's here. This is the spot. Well, where is it? In the lava? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Some advice. Sticking your hand in lava is never gonna feel good. I wasn't thinking. Good. It's better that way. All right, let's get out of here. No. Don't try to play me again. You're an okay kid. But you're still a giant and I'll revel in killing you too. Loki, <laughs> the rift got brighter. Look, we did it. Look, one of these phrases is complete now. We can read it all. But you can't translate it. Not yet. See, I got a little theory. I think if we can find the rest of this, we can use it to look into that without, you know, losing an eye or worse. Look at this. We make a good team. Don't we? Don't we? Make a good damn team? Just like you and Balder. We both behave out there? Thor was really great. I learned a lot from him. You learned something from him? Really now? <laughs> okay. What did you teach the kid? Nothing. What could I possibly teach him? Exactly. <gasps> I was wondering where that went. Actually, I had a Pretty good idea. Change of heart. I'm not really sure why I came to Asgard. But I realize now it wasn't to be a spy. I need you to know you can trust me. And if I'm gonna help you take this to the end, I need to be able to trust you. And trust is earned. I get it. Take this, figure out the rest of it. If you're staying, that is. You're gonna tell me what you're really looking for in there. Translate that, and I'll tell you everything. And on that, young man, you can trust me. You always this hard on Thor? Seems like you're mad at him or something. Ooh, getting nosy. <laughs> no, I get it. But it's nothing like that. It's... Well, to be honest, it's the only language he understands. I'm serious. Go ahead and try being nice to him. See where that gets you. How was it? Did father behave himself? 
Yeah, I mean, better than I would have expected. Hey, don't let me hold you up. Thanks, dude. Talk tomorrow. Did you think that I would be? Well, I'm, it's pretty. I'm not angry. I'm concerned. Well, this has been a weird day. Exactly. Huh. Nicely equipped. What needs work? Good morning, brother. No news, I'm afraid. I have a plan. Do you now? The Nords. You found them once. Could you do so again? I could try, but I don't see how that they would help. They are the fates of these lands, are they not? I would know what they know. You may not find them cooperative. As long as I find them, where do we search? Midgard. But if Atreus is in Asgard, there's no getting him back without an army. We should be raising one. Yes, nothing like a catastrophic war to improve the situation. The boy seems quite capable, perhaps if you simply give him some time. You are not free of blame here. Confusion. I do not seek war. But if Odin has stolen my son, do not doubt the lengths I will go to. Your nature has always been clear, Kratos. But you, Freya. War is a first resort. That's not the Freya I knew. I hope the Norns can give you the counsel you need. Perhaps mine is no longer of use here. Tear, stop. This is no time to divide ourselves further. Come, sit, please. You have been quiet. Frankly, I'm surprised you of all people would seek out fate. But your instincts haven't let us down so far. Let's find the norms. Who am I to I only hoped to help the boy find his answers. And I failed. What's my role in all this now? Tyr, you're at the <coughs> That's why Odin imprisoned you in the first place. He's and not just because of prophecies, no one has ever united the realms as you once did. That is not who I am. I know you feel that way. Right I've lost myself before, more than once, but believe me, there is something beyond. What is that? Perfect. Perfect is the path that leads you to yourself. So you would have me accept my fate, lead your armies into war, secure your vengeance. Hearing our justice is not your purpose, then find another. 
Hang on! I got something for you. Sindri! Coming! Before you go traipsing off into the dawn, I thought you'd like to have this back. Hmm. Well, don't go getting too cheery about it. But you're welcome. I've collected what we need to find the Norns. Shall we go? Madam Meethog? Madam Meethog, where have you been? Meethog? I suspect we may have consequences to look forward to. Squirrel. Ah, Master Kratos, my apologies. Madam Neethog's disappearance weighs heavily on my mind. Is she a friend of yours? Less a friend than another long time. Tenant of the tree. She was here even before I arrived, and that was ages ago. To even think something could keep her away from her babies. Terrible, just terrible. We are certain the trace could not still be in Midgard. I was just there and found no trace. If Odin invited him, he must have provided a way. No, that is not the only explanation. Tell me where we find these Norns. I discovered some of their threads near the frozen lake. I stashed one for spellcrafting, but we may also use it to find them. Just remember, they really don't want to be found. Well, at least things will be difficult for a change. We should take your sled and head to the lake. Midgard, how I've missed the freezing gusts and constant raider attacks. Well, that's because they believe Kratos is responsible for Fimble Winter and that killing him will end it. Where would they get an idea like that? From me, of course. Of course. Come. Quiet. She is a friend. No. Better they get this from you. Once the wolves have the scent of the Norns, we'll just need to follow their lead. I will open the gate. Stop whining. Their fur is matted. When did you last brush them? They are wolves. And matted fur leads to disease. Take care of them and they'll take care of you. Brother, what exactly do you intend to ask the Norms? How I may find my son. Nothing more. You don't imagine it's a chance to clear up all this mess about prophecy. Perhaps get a second opinion on your alleged demise. You didn't tell me you had a death prophecy? When Atreus and I reached Jotunheim, we found a hidden mural. The giants. Fay herself. Had foreseen our entire journey long ago. Who we would meet. Who we would fight. All of it. As it happened. But you aren't dead. That image was from a time yet to come. I see. You've never struck me as someone who fears death. That's not the problem, is it? 
No. Death can have me when it earns me. Then maybe it's not the future that bothers you. Faye sent you on your journey, and she made sure you'd see that image at the end of it. And you're still not sure why. I wish to speak of this no further. Now that we are on the lake, how will we find the Norns? Watch the wolves closely. See how their heads point the way? Well, the Lake of Nine has certainly seen better days. The raiders have made themselves quite at home. Not sure I've been back to these parts since our great battle with Seekron. She speaks highly of that fight as well. You know of that. She told me all about it when she found me. She believed you could be an ally. Long before I believed her. The Valkyrie Queen. An ally. I'm the Valkyrie Queen. As Sigrun was stubbornly determined to remind me. I should have guessed it was Sigrun helping you recover yourself. She's so loyal. Why? Clever. Oh. Mm-hmm. Doesn't take a love goddess to see where you're coming from. This is the right area, but we can't go further on the sled. Quiet. I just hope the norms are somewhere indoors. I'm warm. Safe to say, no, I have not missed Midgard in Thimblewinter. Thank you. <laughs> we will see soon enough. Ominous broken gravestone. The hilt of a sword. Brother, I know that sword hilt. Tread carefully. You of all people know how weapons can carry ghosts. If it does not help us find the Nords, it can wait. I feel a trace of their illusions here. I can try to dispel it. Oh, no. There's nothing here. A false trail. I'm afraid so. We'll have to see what else the wolves can find. Typical Nornish mystery. They know we're searching. I warned you they wouldn't make it easy. 
And what's the hilt of a cursed king have to do with any of it? Distraction? Coincidence? Who knows? I suppose they'd say we were fated to find it. <laughs> I don't know how you expect to find the Norns without letting the wolves lead us there. <laughs> this thread of fate we are tracing. It's not somebody's life if that's what you mean. The Norns use it to mark their way when they're outside of the well. Hold that thought. I think it's about to get violent. Another drug of old brother. <laughs> You're on fire, Kratos. It will pass. The Alpha. Hard to explain. It's in no fixed place. Entrances come and go. A place wholly under their influence, where the intangible becomes tangible. Like being inside your own mind. But if we go in together, are we in each other's mind? Not so sure I like the sound of that. Mimir, have you encountered these norns? Not personally. Faye is right. They have ways of discouraging visitation. Odin made his share of efforts. Wouldn't talk about what he found. Either he gave up, or he wanted to forget what he saw. Faye, you mind telling us what you experienced when you saw the Norns last time? To be honest, the details are hazy. Like waking up from a dream. Mainly, I remember that nothing could be done to change my son's fate. Which only made me more determined to try. Let's see. I feel something. In this direction. Feel what, exactly? Another illusion. It's coming from this wall. The Norns are hiding something. Oh, no. Nothing. Another dead end. A trap. <laughs> Get more dangerous. Then we 
keep looking. Back to the wolves then. What is up here? I don't feel anything. It's not related to the Norns. Could be interesting enough in its own right. What's that outpost? Learn some new item recipes. I'll heat up the forge. You've been quite the archaeologist, haven't you? I'll take him. One less feathery spy. Wolves have picked up another trail. Keep following their heads. Brother, what is your story? You faced the fates of your homeland, yeah? The legends I heard about the ghost of Sparta were surely exaggerated. Exaggerated? Oh, not in the brazen bloodshed righteous fury part. The part where it said you traveled back in time itself to win a battle once lost. It's strange credulity, obviously. I mean, a rumor about Thor knocking the World Serpent back in history from Ragnarok is one thing. It is the truth. The threads of fate span all life and time. The Sisters of Fate abused their power. When I challenged them, they threatened to undo my existence. So I killed them and turned their power on Zeus. That's the most dangerous and irresponsible thing I've ever heard. These Norns have no such magic. Nor does anyone in these realms that I've ever seen. Brother, seems the wolves have led us here. 
We need to work our way up. This way. Whoa! Can you cut a way through the ice? Oh, are the Norns making magical <laughs> ice walls now? No. I think the water just froze. More of your friends. I didn't tell them to be here. did to trick all these raiders into guarding them. Not that they have any idea that's what they're doing. Freya, thank you for your help. I know this was not your focus. The sooner we find your son, the sooner you'll be able to focus. I just hope it works. Just the same. Thank you. A fine sentiment, but write on a bloody note when we're out of the cold, brother. Over here. Opener. We found it. Ah, isn't it always the third place you look? Is everyone hearing that creepy whisper? It is like an itch in the mind. It means we've stepped into their domain. Be ready for anything. Illusions. Projections, possibly. But assume nothing. There's no telling what manner of creature they've made unwitting guards. Delightful. <laughs> Are we in our own mind? 
He certainly seemed real enough. I hate to tell you, the parts in your mind will be real too. Seems he was guarding that way outside. memory. A rather hostile memory at that. These fates should know I will not be deterred. Did know it all, and I cannot change. See, you forgot, smartest man alive. Well, certainly clinks like genuine hack silver. I suppose there's one small consolation to this ordeal at least we won't have to introduce ourselves. Don't credit your reputation, Mamir. They see the whole lives of any who approach them. Another gift of Fimblewinkle, I suppose. The magic draining out of all of us has to end up somewhere. This way. The Norns are somewhere in that cave just ahead. Sound again. 
Normally, I don't mind ladies whispering in my ear, but this is positively awesome. Anyone ever tell you that you babble when you're terrified? Terrified? I'll have you know I'm at the very most deeply apprehensive. And breaking tension with humor is the sacred duty of a traveling companion. Hey, how very dare you! Babbling! <laughs> oh. oh, that looks official. You must. Brother, the trees! It's pulling me in! Mamir! Brother, help me! Monster! Atreus! I am coming! Why didn't you trust your own son? Don't let him take me! Atreus! the test didn't feel much like succeeding I see the door has disappeared or it was never there they toy with us still what is that a kelpie don't see many of those in these parts she must be theirs will she take us to them I'll ask her 
Nicely. Easy, girl. Easy. That's right. Good. You have to talk about whatever the norms put you through? No. Get on. That's a good lass. Lovely creatures, but temperamental by reputation. In my land, they'd keep children away from the lost by telling them a Kelpie would drown them. Of course, no Kelpie I know would do such a thing. Unless it was disrespected. It walks on water. Aye. No mystical water steeds to speak of in Greece, brother? Hmm. There were the Hippocamps. They served the Sea God. I battled one upon a Titan. <laughs> that might not be her favorite subject. <laughs> Hideaway. Never doubted we'd make it. Kratos, Freya, and Mimir's head. Enter the home of the Norns. Tentatively. They have finally reached their destination. Kratos speaks first. I, I seek, seek my, my son! son. <laughs> you know the child is an Asgard. No, you see what all who search for us seek. To know the ending to your story. The ghost of Sparta furrows his brow menacingly. He resists the urge to grunt. No, oh. oh, he fails. You come to us, piteous archetypes, seeking freedom from your scripts, as if knowing your lines would grant you the power to rewrite them. Speak, Speak plain. plain. <laughs> you will die, Kratos of Sparta. But you Cause called him the destroyer, destroyer of fate. There, there must be a way, way to subvert destiny. destiny. There is no destiny, Puck. The protagonists are speechless. They do not understand. There is no grand design, no script. Only the choices you make. That your choices are so predictable. Merely make us seem prescient. When, when my, my son, son was born, born shut up! <laughs> Your prophecy said he would die a needless death. And he did. Because you could not let him go. Because he thirsted for revenge. And because you kill gods. But what Kratos did... It was not out of hate. Should I bring him a crown then? He still slays gods, but now he's sad about it? You are the sum of your choices, nothing more. And because your choices never change, you will learn that Heimdall intends to kill your son in Asgard, and you will do what you do best. And then Ragnarok. The skies burn, the curtains fall. Exunt omni. Heimdall. <laughs> Again, he misses the point. Focusing on the second act to the exclusion of the final. A common mistake in Storycraft. We are yeah, leaving. He stomps away, followed closely by Freya. I enjoyed your story, Kratos. Pity it has to end so soon. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that was... educational. Hmm. 
Let us leave this place. Happily. That's better. I can feel things getting more normal already. Wait. That tree. Well, isn't that interesting? What is this? That's the noose, brother. The one Odin hanged himself with. As part of his endless mad quest for secrets of life and death and what have you. What are you doing? It's a charged object, significant to Odin. Perhaps I'll find a use for it. Brother, what they said about the boy... Will not happen. Oh, I agree. It will not happen. We will not let it. Of course we bloody won't. The question is how? You wouldn't seriously consider killing Heimdall, would you? I will do what I must. Oh, is that all? You're wrong to dissuade him, Mimir. You know Heimdall. I grant you that he's a spiteful, vicious little shit. And so loyal, Odin entrusted him with Galahorn. If we have the chance to eliminate him before Ragnarok, we shouldn't hesitate. Considering his powers of foresight alone, that is an if of mountainous size. Even supposing we're all perfectly comfortable plotting an assassination, and I, for one, am a mite rusty at that measure, we've got no way to reach Heimdall, and no way to kill him if we did. I have killed gods greater than him. I don't doubt that, brother, but it's hardly my point. <laughs> Kratos, I see something. want to get out of here. Look, I think we're missing the Norn's message here. We've all got our tendencies, and yours is to run headlong into danger to protect the ones you love. I do not intend to change. Not about that. Why should you? Apparently my tendency is to kill the ones I love. Freya... I don't need you to comfort me. Either of you. Their accusation was cruel. None of us believe... The truth can be a cruel thing. Anyone care to argue with that? No. But Baldur's fate had many causes. Prophecy among them. How do you mean, brother? There are many tales in my homeland of those who fulfilled prophecy by attempting to avoid it. So it was when Freya tried to protect Baldur. And so it was when I accused my son of going to Asgard. Then we agree. It'd be foolish to go after Heimdall. No. If Heimdall must die for Atreus to live, then Heimdall must die. How can you say that, knowing what you know? Because if Heimdall is a threat to my son, I must act. It is my... Your nature. Well played, Norns. <laughs> Let us find a gateway. Return home. Consider our plans. Listen, brother. Before you make any hasty decisions, why don't you blow off a little steam? I'm sure there was some loose end we meant to circle back to. Give your mind a little time to process everything. I suspect there's unfinished business here at the lake. Though, 
I'm certainly happy to spend time somewhere other than Midgard. It's your choice, Baba. <laughs> Got time to chat? <laughs> Norns have any good news for you? No. Ah. Maybe buying something expensive will take your mind off it? Huh. That might be my best piece yet today. Anything you want to talk about, Kratos? Anything more to discuss? Let's see... Tell me of this power Heimdall wields. He sees the future. More like he reads the person, sees their intention. My intent will be to kill him. Knowing that will be no advantage. Brother, this is no one to underestimate. Any move you make, he'll have seen it coming. If you must face him, we need something else. An edge. Humor me? Very well. We will ask the dwarves. Ah. The inevitable asking of the dwarves. Excuse me, sir. Could I have a moment of your time? Oh dear, oh dear. What's to be done? They're back. They're back. Simmer down. I see them. Whatever you need. I have news. Oh, did the Norns tell you how to get Atreus back? Do we have a plan? The Norns say Atreus will be killed by Heimdall. The plan is to kill Heimdall first. Oh, wow. Okay, Heimdall. Let's see. Never loses. Sees everything coming. Unpopular at parties. This won't be easy. Whatever his advantages, I will overwhelm him with my own. That's the idea. You gotta overpopulate his senses, see? And I got just the thing in mind to help you do it. Sindri, go get Dropnir. Dropnir? But we need it. Our supplies. Oh, we got plenty. 
and despair. Even if we did, Dropnir's no weapon. Why would a... Oh. You mean we combine it with... That's right. And then when he... It'll go... Damn you, that's brilliant. Very well. I suppose there's nothing to do but... Go fetch Dropnir. I can't fathom what they have in mind, but if it's a weapon against Heimdall, we can use it. Drop me a... I bloody knew these two had nicked it. And Odin blamed me for it disappearing. They stole Dropnir. We didn't steal nothing. We just ungifted what never should have been gifted in the first place. How will this help me kill Heimdall? Never you mind all that. It's a fucking surprise. We're artists. But to even store Dropnir, you need... You were saying... Violence cannot prevent violence, Kratos. I truly thought you understood that. No matter what you thought, I understand my son is in danger. Allow harm to come to him. Bastard, no good intentions. Kratos, I've never seen anyone so much as lay a finger on him. Not one. Well, I gathered what's fit for gathering. How long will it take? We'll have to go to Svartalfheim to get the rest of the materials. Not to mention we'll have to visit... the lady. Oh. Whew. Whew, that's a relief. <laughs> huh? Um. Kratos, whenever you're ready. The lady? No idea what he's on about, brother. Nobody can come with us, dear. I know you mean well with that. But, to be honest, I don't like who I became on our last adventure. I can't be around the violence that follows. 